So there is one thing that absolutely every single YouTuber has in common. And can you guess what it is? One day, they decided to pick up a camera, record a video, and hit publish on their very first video. And it doesn't matter if you're Mr. Beast with millions of followers and billions of video views, or if you're Marcus Banks with zero subscribers, one video, and only a couple views. Both of them physically took the time to go ahead and publish that very first video. And I think it's time that we make publishing YouTube videos a little bit more exciting. But I have to admit that this wasn't necessarily my invention idea whatsoever. You see, back at the start of the summer, Shopify invited a handful of creators out to Arizona to their very first creator summit. And Shopify is actually the sponsor of today's video, but more on that later. But at this conference, I got to meet two creators that I've been a fan of for a long time. Colin and Samira are like your content creator's favorite content creators. They take a deep dive into the creator economy, interviewing people like Mr. Beast, Ryan Trahan, and a whole bunch of other people. But on the last day of the trip, they shoved me into a locker and wouldn't let me out until I promised them that I would make them a button that when you pushed it, it published your YouTube videos for you. I just spent an hour making that animation, and it's not even how it all went down. But they actually filmed the interaction because I wasn't sure if they thought I was just gonna say no, but maybe they'll post it over on their channel. But today we're making a button that publishes your YouTube videos for you. So here's something I already had in the studio that'll sort of be a proof of concept of figuring out exactly how we want this button to work. So it's basically just one singular keyboard key, and when you push it, all it does is hit the enter key for you on your computer. And that action alone of hitting enter might be all we need to get this done. And of course it needs a dongle because it's USB and not USB-C, but we'll plug it into my computer. So I'm actually getting ready to upload my brand new YouTube short. I've got our button and I've got YouTube Studio loaded up here. I've got all the details, the videos loaded, all of the different settings should be all set and ready to go. Now, on the visibility page, if I go and hit this button, will it publish? Even though it says save on YouTube, I feel like that just isn't all that exciting. It should be publish, not save. All right, let's hit the button. Three, two, one, nothing, nothing. It's not doing anything. And I think it's because the save button isn't like engaged. So if we go ahead and I hit tab a whole bunch of times, yeah, you can see that it's going through all of the different interaction points you can do on the page. Okay, now I think it's saved. So now if I hit the button, it should do something. Hit the button. And that time it actually did something. So this got the job done, just not necessarily in the way that I was hoping to get it done. And think of this as your very first YouTube video that you wanna publish. It was a starting place. You have to hit publish for that very first time if you want anything to happen. We've got ourselves a big upgrade here. We now have two massive keyboard keys that are on custom PCB boards that will allow us to customize any function that we want these to do. But we have a big decision to make between the two of these. Option number one is a silent mechanism and it doesn't really make too much noise when you push it up and down. And the second option is a clicky mechanism. Listen to that. Silent, clicky. Silent, clicky. Oh, and an even better upgrade is that it's USB-C, so no more dongles. Oh yeah, that's a smooth connection right there. And just like I mentioned earlier, we can custom program this thing to do whatever I want. So if we hop back into my computer, I can authorize the device and connect up to it. And so now you see we have an entire keyboard of all sorts of different options that we can do for controlling this giant keyboard key. And we actually have two options here. The first option would be just to make it a mouse click. So you go ahead and put your mouse button over the publish button, over the save button, and you hit the button and it automatically publishes your video for you. Then the second option would be to count how many times we had to hit tab and then hit enter, and it would be able to do all of those tabs and enters in one solid push. So I'll go ahead and do the tab option first. So we'll go to macros 
and now we're gonna enter a custom tab. And I did count it out and it was 16 times I had to hit tab before I hit enter so that it would publish the video. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Hit enter at end of macro, save. And so I reloaded up a new video on YouTube and just set it to private so we can test this out. If we go through all the motions and get to the visibility tab, when I hit this, it should do the 16 different tabs and hit save. Okay, three, two, one. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. I quickly set up the mouse click action with this button, so let's test it out. Three, two, one. It worked. This is definitely an upgrade from our starting point. Speaking of starting point, let's talk about today's sponsor. So just like pushing publish on your very first YouTube video, Shopify is the go-to place to press publish on your very first business. So Shopify is gonna be your one-stop shop for everything commerce. Because Shopify lets you sell online, in person, and across every single social media channel. Like you can literally go below this YouTube video right now and buy this sweatshirt that I'm wearing from my very own Shopify site. It's that simple. And don't just take my word for it, Shopify powers more entrepreneurs than anyone else in the entire world, with millions of businesses in 175 different countries. Plus, they have a brand new starter plan that only costs $5 to get started. You can have your store set up in minutes without dealing with a single line of code. And you'll instantly be able to sell across all platforms like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Etsy, LinkedIn, and more. And it's easily upgradable to unlock the full power of Shopify as your business grows. So with that $5 starter plan, you're immediately gonna be able to manage order, analyze sales, and talk directly with your customers all in one place. So click the link down in my bio or go to this website here and get started on your Shopify starter plan today. Now let's finish designing this invention. check this out. So you might have noticed that I have a new printer that can print two different colors without me doing anything. And it came out so clean looking. Well, I am so ready to press publish. And we've got our two different components here. So this bottom part is gonna hold our PCB and we're gonna plug it in here and that's gonna hold the actual button. So Colin and Samir actually wanted the giant publish button to look like a giant keyboard key and it's gonna fit right into there and this is what you're gonna press on. And I do believe there's gonna be a chance for you guys to get one of these. So Colin and Samir also have a newsletter called The Publish Press. Has a way better sound to it than the Save Press. And I'll throw a link down in the description to their newsletter. It has all of the updates on the creator economy like two or three times a week. It's got job updates, news articles, interviews, all that kind of stuff. And I believe there's gonna be a way through the newsletter to get one of these publish buttons. We can slide the giant button into place and it should fit pretty well in here. Oh yeah, nice and tight. And we've got the USB plug coming out right here. And hopefully the publish button also slides right into place where it needs to be. Oh yeah, and I made the executive decision on the clicky one. The sound is just too good. And just like the evolution I was talking about, if this was my very first YouTube video, this is my YouTube video three years in the future. The starting point and where you'll eventually get to. What was my first YouTube video that I put on the channel? Okay, if I scroll all the way to the bottom of my channel, we can find the first video. Ooh, the Air 6 is a classic. Yeah, I just randomly made this invention, posted it. What, it's only 13 seconds long? Look at me without my mustache, I look like a baby. And that was it, that's the beginning of unnecessary inventions as we know it. Let's check out the comments. And a legend was born. <laughs> I love it, I actually haven't read through these. What else do we got? It may be unnecessary, but it's the start of a new generation of unnecessary inventions. The first video is also the first unnecessary invention. 
This 14 second video started it all. Exactly, pressing publish on a 14 second video turned into this entire world that I've been doing for three and a half years. Insanity. <laughs> okay, I think it's time that we need to take this button and actually publish a video. Publish button, looking fantastic. And we can plug it in with zero dongles. So we've got the publish button ready to go. We also have a YouTube video that's ready to go. Five, four, three, two, one. It's published. I can definitely attest that pushing this button is way more satisfying than clicking that stupid little save button at the bottom of a YouTube video. To Colin and Samir, thank you for telling me to build the publish button, because it is so satisfying. And thank you to Shopify for sponsoring this video. Make sure you go check out the link down in my description to check out their brand new starter plan for only five bucks. I have to get this thing packed up and sent to Colin and Samir, but there's only one thing I need to do. I have to publish this video. So I will see you at the next Unnecessary Invention.